not in my usual area because my parents are watching a show downstairs, so I'm up here in a bedroom. And the lighting's actually a lot better here than it is down there, so that's nice. What was I going to talk about? Alright. Yeah, basically. Okay, I didn't go MIA. I've been posting like twice a week just to keep up. But since the last time, because I was talking about how I was like stressed out about my job, but actually because of low student enrollment in my school, um, they had to, they had to like displace teachers who were who are not like high on the tenure list so basically since I'm the newest addition to the school and to the LA to the district um, I got displaced getting displaced means that I still get paid and I still get my benefits and everything but I just need to find a new school within the within the district hi Karina So that means that I'm no longer going to teach middle, sc middle school. After I got displaced, I had to do interviews. And so I just like sent my resume and emailed, emailed a few schools that are in the area. And then one of the principals like instantly got back to me and then like scheduled the interview for like the next day. So I went to the interview and then, I don't know, like I feel like the interviews are pretty pretty easy things it's like the interviews are like talking to you guys like if you guys if you guys ask me like oh how do you teach or like what do you do when a student's struggling or like what's your hardest what's the hardest thing you've done as a teacher like things like that I can answer all those questions pretty easily now um so I think the interview was pretty easy and then right when they Right when I got home, like, they emailed me, and they were like, oh, like, we'll take you, so, so I have a job again. But then they, they had to, like, process, they had to process my, my hiring, and this school district takes forever to do anything, so it's going to take, like, maybe another few days or another week for them to process it, and then I'll start, I'll start teaching biology at a high school, um, but it's it's already like five weeks into the school year, so I lost five weeks. And my students are just gonna like be like they're gonna be like, oh, who the heck is this new this new teacher? And they're gonna be like, why does he look so young? I thought he was a senior. So hopefully the students are not like too much trouble and they can behave, and I can teach them. I can focus. I can focus on teaching instead of. Um, like managing and babysitting. But if not, then I'll struggle. But it'll, it'll still be way better because in middle school, I had, to, I had to prep for three different classes for science, philosophy, seventh grade science, and eighth grade science. But in in my new school, it's just going to be biology. So I, I, have to, I don't have to like prep three separate things because prepping takes forever. Um, they also offered to let me teach a dance elective so I, I don't because I could teach a k-pop dance elective but I don't know about a general dance elective I mean I could I could just teach dance I could just teach choreo that I learned but like I'm not like a like a like a hip-hop dance instructor you know I've only taught k-pop dances TCHS yeah if TCHS hired me, I would drop everything and go to TCHS right now. TCHS is my dream, my dream school to teach at. It's my high school. 
Some of my old students from my last school is in here, are in here, but I still can't talk to them yet. How am I such a young teacher? Technically, teachers only need to be like 21. You can be, the youngest you can be a teacher is probably like around 21. If you have a bachelor's and you do your teaching credential, but the only reason why most teachers are old is because like they don't join teaching, they don't start teaching until they're a little bit older. A lot of teachers I know are people who switch careers. They switch jobs, switch careers, and now they're teaching. But for me, like, my only job before this was tutoring. So I didn't really have many years of experience in other job fields. Mr. Law makes me sound ancient, yeah. I imagine they don't expect my face when they, when you hear Mr. Law, you don't imagine me. Hmm. Okay, I don't look like a, there's no way I look like a high, like a high school freshman. Like, even that's too much. Maybe a, maybe a high school junior, but especially if I grow my, like, little stubble out, I'll look like at least 20. Oh yeah. So I'm subbing at my middle school right now and while I'm waiting for the processing for the hire and there's this... Some kids are just like... So hard to deal with. Like there was this kid who... Like I tried to keep him after class because he was disrupting class and then he wasn't doing his work and then he was like he was just defiant he wouldn't listen to me even though i just wanted him to like not disturb the class so then i told him to stay after class and then i like kind of i like stood in front of the door to make sure he doesn't like just run out and he literally like ran into me like like i i, I was like standing there and my arms were like this and then like he ran he like he, he ran himself into my arm, like with his neck area, because he's short, so he just ran into it, my arm, and then he was like, ow, it hurts, and I was like, obviously, if you're going to run into me, like, and he was like, oh, like it hurts so much, like, like, he was trying to get me in trouble or something, but it's really stupid. But in the end, like, I couldn't really keep him from going out because we're not allowed to, we're not allowed to, like, hold people back and, or, like, grab them or anything. So there's nothing I could really do. I just left a note for his teacher, but I don't know if his teacher actually does anything about that. Teach them how to woe. Yeah, there was this kid who kept asking me to teach him how to dance. So then I taught him how to do, like, a... I taught him how to do like a little, like an arm wave thing, but, but he really didn't, he didn't really, he didn't really want to learn. He was just trolling. So he didn't really try hard. Teach Manolo. Oh yeah. I would totally teach Manolo, but I don't even remember it. Start a riot at TCHS to make them hire me. Yeah, please do it. Please do it for my, for my sake. You graduated, so now we're friends. Well, I mean, technically I can be friends with like high schoolers who are not from this, who are not from the district. I don't really understand how the policy works completely, but I just know I'm not supposed to talk to my students. Hmm. Please don't grow my stubble thing. Well. 
Sometimes I just get really lazy to shave. Like, there's no one to impress. Like, there's no, there's no cute girl to impress at school. You know, they're like my students. I'm not, I'm not into my students, obviously. So sometimes, if I don't do like live stream and I'm not doing anything or like meeting anyone, like I actually care about like looks wise, then I just won't shave, and then I'll just have like a like a really gross stubble, but. It's not noticeable on stream. I I hope. It's not that bad right now. You can't imagine me yelling at a student. I've only yelled like five times, maybe, which is very little compared to a lot of other other um, teachers. I really wish I could talk to my old students from. From the high school I was at last year, but district policy doesn't let me. I just told all my students to join, to follow my teacher account, and then once they graduate, like send me a DM, and then I'll follow them back. Only one student. I only had one one senior who, who was in like the chem class I kind of helped with, who. Who I could follow back and talk to on that account now, but most students are just. Tenth graders from last year. I forgot to tell my middle school students, but whatever. I only knew them for a month, so I really want to visit. I really want to visit the school, my old, the school from last year. But I work whenever there's school, because I'm in the same school district. So I I work every day. So I, every day there's school there, I work. So there's no way I can really visit unless I take a day off. But I really want to visit, though, especially during like、um, one of those school spirit days, where I can like see all the students and hang out. Hmm. Karina wants to join. You mean alive? I mean, I'm totally down at the end, maybe. But that's. I still don't understand the concept of. Of like living with other people, because we're just like, you can't really interact normally when you're in a dub in a double live stream with someone else, because you have like people watching you and it's not as authentic. So, oh, and don't I'm gonna go sleep soon because I need to wake up for work tomorrow. Yeah, Victor's here. See, Victor, Victor's the guy from. From last year, and he, he's eighteen now. He's going to UCLA. So proud of him, and I added him back on my teacher account because now I can, because now he's free from from the district. So, so I can talk to him whenever I want to. Like if he ever asks anything, if he ever wants to talk, then hit me up if I'm free. Uh, what else? You have so much homework. Uh, I guess for your major, if you're if you're doing like aerospace engineering, you'll probably have a lot of practice problems for homework. But it's too bad that like in high school you kind of don't want homework, but in college you really want homework because in college if you don't get home like if you don't because most college classes homework is not graded, you have to do it for practice so that you don't fail the midterm and final, and the midterm and final are are like a hundred percent in your grade. Like in high school, it's so easy. You do. Like, for some teachers, if you do the homework, you get twenty twenty percent credit, like free. So even if you get like a B on all your tests, you still get an A. But that's not how it works in, in college. So. A lot of, a lot of kids in high school are not prepared for college. Fortunately, Temple City is pretty good in terms of preparing, preparing you for college. So, when I went to college, I was fine. Because I knew how to handle myself. What's my teacher account?、Uh, I I can't really say it here, or else like everyone, other people are gonna start adding it. So I only want my students to know. 
You witnessed me at dying at KCON during the BTS random dance challenge. Yeah, that was like 20 dances in a row. Uh, 17 announced their world tour. Yeah, but I don't really, uh, I don't really care enough about 17. But I think, is that it? Oh yeah, I recently, so yesterday I had my friend film me doing, um, doing Anpanman and doing Fear. And then the CNS thing that I uploaded today, that was just a troll thing at the end of the day. But I have like two, two like semi-serious covers and hopefully they're better, but it's really hard because when I do my my dance practice in the in the gym, I can I can like clean my clean myself with the mirror and with the with the video recording, but when I'm having someone record me, it's hard to clean myself. So I feel like I'm less clean on on the on the videos I'm gonna upload this week. On the other hand, um, the filming is like way higher quality, and I can move farther because I don't have to stay within the small frame. Um, wow, so many students. So I'll upload those sometime this week or like at the end of this week, depending on when, but I hope, uh, I hope it's not too bad and I still can't edit because InShot makes me lose, um, FPS. I think that's, yeah, that's pretty much it. There's some other stuff I could talk about, but um, it's not really like, I don't really, I, I don't really want to talk about girls on here. So I'm just going to go. So would I go see Izzy in January? Maybe, maybe I'd see Izzy in January. Anyway, I'm going to go. Bye-bye.